Okay, in this one, we're gonna, uh, we've got a really good snow here, so I thought we'd go ahead and try again on snow. Last year I tried this and uh, it was pretty ugly. Uh, so I'm gonna try it again and we'll see what happens in the snow. Okay, right off the bat, it goes right in the, right off the driveway, so I had to kick it off there. So now we're gonna make a left here and it starts out, you know, it's doing reasonably well, I guess. Uh, and I thought at first it was going to do okay, but now it's right in the middle of the road. It can't figure out where the side of the road is. So it's mostly, it's a little bit to the right, but not much. It's mostly right in the middle of the road. So if you're driving along like this and somebody's coming down the other way, uh, this is going to be an issue. So uh, anyway, it's it's pulled over a little bit now. Maybe it sees a little better uh, the road because a little bit of uh, uh, open road there. Now it's coming up uh, on a car, and it's going to do okay in this car. It it sees it and it's going to go around it normally. And we're going to come up here on a right-hand corner. Kind of heading over there to the side, but it stopped way ahead. And, yeah, it's going to go around. Now, uh... It's doing okay, but it kicked off. I had to kick it off right there because it started going over. Now it's going way over to the right again. I had to kick it off again. And it seems to be doing okay. It's, it's still going to the right. And uh, I kind of tried to let it go there, and it didn't self-correct. So it's doing reasonably well. Now, here I've kicked it off because, uh, by the way, there's no sound in this because there was, I had a passenger and there's a lot of noise and a lot of swearing and so on going on. So, uh, we're going to come up to this one corner up here and I'm keeping it out here. I kicked it back in and it, it went off to the side again. So, I'm just keeping it completely out right now. Now, one of the things this thing does is it does not adapt its speed to the icy roads. It, it'll go whatever the speed limit is, uh, and you have to knock it down to get it to, uh, to be reasonable. Now, it's going off. Now, there's going to be a right-hand turn up here. And it's really, you know, it's going to get up too fast uh, for the conditions. And we're going to come up to this corner right quick. Okay, it's right there. We're going way too fast. And it made the corner. But, of course, we had uh, the tra traction control going crazy on this thing, trying to keep this thing from uh, missing that corner. Much too fast in the corner. Now, here we are pretty much uh, all... Uh, snow covered it's, it's doing okay here for a while but it's right in the middle of the road it, it either seems to go right in the middle of the road and in fact it's going way over now uh, or it goes off to the right so obviously it is not it's not really figuring out uh, how to drive down these roads I mean, they are totally kind of whited out, but, you know, you still have to, you still have to drive these roads. Now, I speeded it up here because it was actually doing reasonably well here. Uh, and I'm going to get down this T intersection.
Uh, right now, I have put it back in. Now, it's doing reasonably well here. Uh, not going off to the side, but it does see, you know, it has some uh, view of the center line of the road. So it's not doing too bad. Now, it slowed down just a little bit for that car. It's had a real problem with slowing down every time a car comes on the opposite way. And that's, it's kind of a monster because, you know, it's slowing down when it shouldn't be. I mean, they're in their lane, we're in our lane. So there shouldn't be anything like that. But it does do that occasionally. Uh, sometimes it doesn't when a car's coming, sometimes it does. Now here we've got a vehicle coming the other way, and I thought it was just too fast for this corner, so I kicked it out right there. And uh, I went ahead and put it back in after we got past there, but I thought that was just a little bit too fast going on that corner. It wasn't a sharp corner, but still, it was a little too fast. Now we got pretty good visibility here, and it hasn't done anything really stupid for a little while. It did slow down there for no apparent reason. It seems to do that even on dry roads in this road here. Now, okay, it just, I had to kick it off right there. It was going off the road. Uh, last year, this thing would constantly go towards the ditch all the time. I finally just gave up on doing any videos with it. But it should have good view here, and it still tends to go off the road off the right. Now here, it slowed way down for that car. No point to that at all. Absolutely no point to slowing down for that car. Uh, I mean, it's down to 13 miles an hour. It's just ridiculous. It slowed down there again. I have no idea why. It just did. It slowed down and kind of stayed that way for a ways. Uh, and then a car came by and it slowed down for it too. Now here, it's, it's right in the center of the road. It finally figured out that the center of the road was uh, there, so it pulled over to the right side when it saw that little piece of double line but uh, yeah very commonly this thing is going to the center of the road or off to the right it just simply can't find where the road is now this one it really should be able to do this because you can see a good part of the road Now this one, it didn't slow down at all for that car. Uh, you know, I can't tell why it uh, slows down for one and then doesn't slow down for the next one. But it does. Now it came up too fast. It always comes up too fast. Whether it's a dry road or not, it always comes up too fast. It's just Looney Tune. Now it's going to make a left here. I said a right. It's going to make a left. It, it did okay on that. I didn't have any real problem with it. It waited for that car, but now it's right in the center of the road. And it's finally figuring out, okay, it shouldn't be there. So it's... Uh, it's come back to the proper side of the road. Now here, it's heading straight for that sign. <laughs> and uh, 
I let it go. It finally came back, but then now it's straight out. I kicked it out there because I didn't really want to hit that light pole. So, uh, yeah, it's and it's heading over uh, to the center line. It came back, but uh, it's having real trouble figuring this out. Now here it's going way, I have no idea why it went over to the right lane here. The left lane is the only one that can go through the uh, roundabout up here. So I, don't know. Uh, I finally kicked it out and, and moved it over. And it's back in now. Okay, coming into this roundabout. And it came up and stopped. There's a car coming there. It might have been able to go ahead of it, but now it, it finally moves again, but it just sits there for an awful long time. Uh, sometimes a uh, short time seems a long time when you're coming into one of these things. And I'm just fast forwarding here. Nothing special is happening here. Now we're coming back from where we came, going up and over. We're going to come back to that roundabout again. And let's see how it does for the roundabout. This roundabout, it seems to have troubles with this thing. Uh, it did pretty good here. It tried to stop there and I had to hit the throttle to get the thing through there's somebody behind me so and kind of looked like it was going to miss that off that turn off but it did okay now here it's it's staying on the right side of the road but it's drifting now now it's right it's right on the center line between the two uh, two paths. So I'm letting it do it because there's nobody behind me. It finally decides, okay, I'm going to go over in the left lane. And uh, that's the lane it should be in for the route we're traveling anyway. Now it's drifting off there again. I had to kick it out there because it tends to drift towards that center line. Everything's going reasonably well here. Did kind of go towards the center line some, but nothing terrible. Now this four-way stop. Okay. I'm uh, going to go straight through. Seems to be stopped way back. Not sure why it did that, but it is. And it's doing okay through here. Now I'm fast forwarding here because there's really not much happened here. It actually did reasonably well. Now for whatever reason, it did not slow down for all these vehicles here. Uh, and sometimes it do does, sometimes it doesn't. Now it slowed down a little bit for that one and slowed down a bunch for this guy here. So now it's uh, it's doing okay here. It tends to go somewhat towards the center, but uh, it seems to be uh, correcting. Doing okay here. Now we got a really sharp right corner here. 
and I have uh, I've kicked it out here because uh, it's not going to make that corner. It's, it's way too sharp, and it it would be going way too fast, and I wasn't going to trust it. Now I've got it kicked back in. And it's kind of pretty much in the center of the road here again. Uh, just driving along in the center of the road. And yeah, really far over now. It's completely over in the left lane. Uh, we've got a quarter coming up that... Uh, it's going to have its little problems with this. It has through here, it's kind of been drifting towards the right in a lot of cases, and uh, but it did self correct, so I just kind of left it go. Now we're coming up to this corner. This is a left turn, and it's really going too fast. Shouldn't be going more than 15. And here it goes. I mean, it just, I had to kick it out there because it was heading for that tree. Uh, it never would have made it. Okay. So this drive has told me there's really no improvement on this over what it was last year. I'm going to be uh, linking a video I did last year on this snow, pretty much the same thing. And it maybe doesn't go over to the side quite so much, but it really isn't any better than it was last year. It's pretty much the same stuff. Uh, I don't think they've really done any improvements on full self-driving for winter driving. I don't think they know what to do. And it is uh, by far too dangerous to let it operate during uh, winter driving. That's it on this one.